Turns out, Ron DeSantis, they did a poll. Ron DeSantis, Trump, Trump's Trump. He topped Trump by 23 points among Republicans in a new poll. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis leads former President Trump by 23 points among Republicans in a hypothetical GOP presidential primary, according to a poll released Tuesday. This just in, DeSantis already won the hypothetical primary. <laughs> Which, of course, means absolutely nothing. But we want to set it up and set up a great establishment pick now. That's what this is. So they, the, the establishment does not like Trump. They'd much rather have DeSantis. And that's what this right. is. DeSantis is their boy. He's going to do whatever Wall Street and the military industrial complex says. Yeah. Uh, but he, he, you know, maybe he'll stand up to Big Pharma. Who knows? But um, there's going to be no yeah. difference between. So from George Bush to Barack Obama, there was no difference. He just it was a continuation. I know that sounds crazy to people, but yeah. again, I don't want to I don't want to sit here and explain it to you. But it he took us from two wars to seven. He kicked five point one million families out of their homes while he made sure the bankers kept their their, their bonuses. He deported twice as many people, almost uh, Hispanics as Trump did in his first term. He uh, what what else can you say? He dropped twenty six thousand. He dropped more bombs than George Bush. Uh, Here's what I predict, Jimmy, for DeSantis. And he gave us a right-wing health care plan instead of giving us a public option or a left-wing health care plan. Go ahead. DeSantis is going to be so tough on Big Pharma. They're going to have to switch up and pay the RNC the number one amount of contributions <laughs> instead of the DNC, yes. who will be then number two. Yeah. <laughs> The USA Today Suffolk University poll found that 56% of Republicans and Republican-leading voters preferred DeSantis, while only 33% would support Trump. More than 60% said they want a nominee who will continue Trump's policies, but they don't want it to be Trump. 31% want it to be Trump. So they like Trump's policies, ideas, but they see him as being too toxic, I guess. And too bad for their brand or whatever. Yeah. Which, you know, if they're this, you would think that means they would be good with Biden. <laughs> because he continued all of Trump's policies up to and including finishing the wall. Yeah. Maybe these Republicans are Ethiopian and they live in the Horn of, the Horn of Africa. Maybe that's <laughs> it. <don't> <laughs> The poll also found Trump's favorable favorable rating among Republicans dropped from 75 percent to 64 percent in December. His unfavorable rating has also risen from 18 percent to 23 percent during that time. Ron DeSantis. And so uh, Fiorella, a friend of the show, says Ron DeSantis will make Trump look like a child. He's already put out an anti-communist bill. He's Ooh. eager to intervene in Latin America and China. He will, he will be more like a McCain and a Cheney than Trump. Great. Wow. And she's Russia state affiliated media saying that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Democrats choice to fear monger instead of this. So this is what uh, that Mark Ruffalo said that Democrats by governing so shittily the way they govern, they're making, they're turning people towards fascists. They're enabling fascists. Well, what Mark Ruffalo doesn't know is that the Democrats are also fascists. Mm -hmm. We have one fascist party. We call them Democrats and Republicans. The Democrats, I think Mark, yeah. yeah, Democrats just took away our union's right to strike and organize. That's called fascism. That's what they did. So, Demi you know, Jimmy, uh, what? Go ahead. What, I think, what I think the Hulk is trying to say is that he thinks fascism is not saying gay. <laughs> <laughs> so Sean says Democrats choice to fear monger instead of addressing the systemic conditions that produce Trump. That's been the mission of this show since Trump was to focus on the conditions that gave us Trump. What is that condition? The condition of the is the complete corporate capture of the Democratic Party by Wall Street, the military industrial complex, big health insurance, big pharma and uh, and Silicon Valley. That's and oil companies. That's what that's what this is. Democrats choice 
to fearmonger and do Russiagate and, and do January 6th and do everybody's a racist instead of addressing the systemic conditions that produced Trump was always just going to lead to a more savvy, refined version of Trump, which is what DeSantis is. Yeah. Jay Buffat, friend of the show, says, and this is what the Democratic Party has steered us towards for the sake of oligarchs and the oppressor class. You've been trying to tell people and some just won't listen. I'm afraid we may have to go through further intense suffering in order for people to learn. It's sad. Well, there's only more suffering coming. Yeah, buckle so, up. So buckle up. <laughs> Just like how everything got worse under Joe Biden, everything got worse under Barack Obama, everything got worse under Trump, everything's going to get worse under, it is going to keep getting worse. We still don't have health care. It's 2023 almost. We still don't have health care. Bernie almost won the presidency or the Democratic. Now, he did win the, de in 2016, just running on health care. And we still don't have it. And nobody even talks about it anymore. They even yeah, talk about it. Well, Twitter. Nah. Uh, and so comrade Misty Putin, that's our friend of the show. She said, unfortunately, as I predicted, they're just falling for the more competent charlatan. So this is she's talking about that poll. And she's saying Republicans are falling for the more competent charlatan. She says, as I predicted. Oh, really? Why you got? Why does everybody got to pretend like you called it? You called it. Let's say. Oh shit! She did call it. Okay. Okay. Corporate Democrats continuing to win only means more Trump, or worse, we will get a competent fascist who isn't a loudmouth buffoon. Wait. So she wants to say this. <laughs> She's a white supremacist. Hey, why are you yeah. such a white supremacist, DeSantis person? That's what someone will clip this. I can't wait to see how they clip this uh, segment I'm doing right now to make it look like I'm pro DeSantis. Mm -hmm. That's what they do whenever I oh. do something like this. If I just cover a story, like when I covered yeah. Seth Ritz, they made it look like I was pushing some kind of theory, which I wasn't. I was just covering it. Right. And now, and now whenever I cover DeSantis, they always clip it to try to make it look like I'm pro DeSantis. And then I try. Who was doing that? Are you kidding me? Oh, I, you know, I didn't see the. I've seen. I'm not going to mention my. Them. I'm not yeah. going to. I'm not going to prop them up. But you don't go on um, Twitter, Kurt. You don't see that. <laughs> no, I try. I try to. Okay. Go, I try to stay far, far away. Because okay. I'll be lured in. Hey, Misty. I want to tell you, he's not just a charlatan. He is also a former JAG officer who worked at Guantanamo and is accused of war crimes by the released prisoners. So there's that too. <laughs> so Mansoor Ida Ida. Adi Adi Yafi, Adifi. I don't say it, but Guantanamo Bay. One of the guys that got sold, that was innocent, sold by warlords that they had to let go. Uh, what DeSantis did was approve all the brutal, like force feeding and all that. He would come in the prison. That's according to this guy who was released. DeSantis would get them. Hey, I'm here to make sure you're not being tortured. And then when they told him the things that were torture, he let the. According to them, he went took it back to superiors. Go, yeah, they hate that. Do more of it. That's what he was doing there, according to. The release detainees so he'll be great so he'll be a great president so because the democrats are so shitty on purpose and just w an anti-worker and pro-corporate and pro-war because they're so horrible because they are the republican party there is no difference um the democrats are even actually a greater evil in in, in a lot of ways which i've explained already uh and because of that we now are going to get a competent Trump, which is what we all warned about for five years. They get ready for mourning in America again. Yeah. Because not instead of worrying about, obviously it doesn't matter how the voters feel, but Democrats got to worry about losing the support of uh, Global Corp. And Ron DeSantis is a real attractive go-getter who can be counted on to do what it takes. <laughs> She said, I knew everything Trump said was bullshit. He was a showman playing to his audience. He tried to play outsider, but he's just an establishment. He's just as establishment as Clinton. 
We got lucky, though. He's incompetent, and he has zero talent for subtlety. That's what she was saying about Trump. But now, you know, of course, also, just to be clear, a demagogue was inevitable. That's what 40 years of neoliberalism gets you. We actually got pretty lucky because Trump is an incompetent buffoon. But we have to pressure the Democrats for real change, or next time we won't be so lucky. Guess what? It's next time, and it's going to be Ron DeSantis. (laughs) <laughs> people are going to remember that he said not to say gay it's going to count for a lot jacks page says nope democrats will lose the house in 2022 and subsequently the presidency in 2024 and we are on track to have a much worse much more effective and much smarter trump take over we're pretty much fucked yeah congratulations democrats congratulations to the squad for not doing a goddamn thing except for voting for war they're all fucking war pigs you know i called this too many times where do you see the guy coming after trump what that's going to be like? yes pollsters found president biden leading a hypothetical head-to-head matchup with trump 47 percent to 40 desantis led biden in the poll by about four points 47% to 43%. So DeSantis is the much stronger candidate right now. Almost two-thirds of the GOP and GOP-leaning voters want DeSantis to run for president in 2024. Less than a quarter of them don't want him to. So he's going to, looks like he's going to be the guy. Imagine a Reagan who isn't senile, how dangerous that's going to (laughs) be. That's what, that's what we're getting. He's much, I think he's, I think DeSantis will be much worse than Reagan, but who knows? Yeah. I think so. I mean, Reagan was Reagan the first. Ex- Reagan kind of ca- accuser. Reagan kind of caused our ho- a homeless problem. He was the, he re- he really gave us. It was the big bang of homelessness, oh, right. right? For under under him. Yeah. Hey, we're doing live stand up comedy in Los Angeles, December 9th, 16th, sixteenth, twenty third, and thirtieth, and we're going to be in Tempe. Milwaukee, Minneapolis, Nashville. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for all those tickets. See you there. 